Hello, I'm Anne Molyneux and I'm the curator and collection manager of the non-vertebrate paleo collections at UT Austin. How did you end up in geology? Now there's a story. I was born on the south coast of England and the beaches were pebbly. And I always used to wonder why the beaches where I lived were pebbly and the beaches where my cousin lived were sandy. And I guess that's the first thing geologically speaking, that I noticed. And then after that, it was a teacher in school, in high school, who just wowed me. I remember one day we were out in, in the Tees River Valley, and I, have a, I still have a picture of this teacher expounding with her arms, furiously pointing out things for us. And it was just magnetic, you know, very, very exciting. Why was this fall here? What were those things in the rock? Because they were fossils. And um, I was very grateful for having a person like that. In a very broad sense, it's really archiving research specimens of all sorts, three-dimensional specimens like the material here, detailed analytical studies that have been done with them, and making them all available for research in 100 years, yeah. or tomorrow, yeah. depending on <laughs> when you want to use them. I've always liked collecting things, things that go together and have a history. I have some collections from way, way back, childhood, you know, tiny little things that I'd collected on the beach. You're looking for shapes, or you're looking for colors, or you're looking for something that feels nice. So that along with some things that were real organisms, I would collect pebbles too, which my parents used to think. What are we going to do with her? <laughs> so I, you know, think that these pebbles were really interesting, but <laughs> nobody else would. I think the body plans of some of the fossils are really beautiful. If you look at sea urchins and starfish and uh, those sea lilies, they're beautiful creatures. The articulation of the various plates and their structure, they're just fantastically designed. Where else would you literally want to get up and come to work every day and never be bored and always be re interacting with people who are really interesting? Always uh, able to feel as though you were doing something that was useful and um, very, very interesting. I wouldn't do anything else. <laughs>